today we're going to do Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 6, Episode 18. Um, just going to do, I'm going to try to do the whole recap. I'm going to try, I'm just saying. This episode wasn't really nothing major or anything like that, but it was okay for what it was. Um, they had Miss Lawrence and Kenya talking at the beginning. They are having like breakfast on a little patio, a little deck, or whatever. And they're basically talking about what happened the night before with, uh, Portia saying that, but she, they like, she basically admitted that she was, um, hired, she was, um, what did they call her? They said she, she had an arranged marriage. And I'm like, well, I can see that, so... I hope people don't come at Kenya for saying it. What we all been saying. I'm just saying. Um, I was laughing when they was like she thought she was a trophy wife, but she was a, um, a certificate. I wrote. I was like, one thing I can say about Kenya, she know how to throw shade, and that shit was funny. I don't care what nobody say. Yeah. So they were talking about her being a trophy wife or whatever. Then Kenya was just talking about how she brought all these women out. To Mexico to you know get to know each other to start you know for them to see her who, for who she is and not all these rumors of what they think who she is and all this kind of bullshit so but I'm like this Kenya some of that shit you have brought on yourself maybe you are a different Kenya but you try to come so hard on the last season that you fucked up your reputation even with a lot of the viewers now you have been gaining a little viewers back but you brought a lot of this shit on yourself. Um, she was talking about, they were talking about the whole Apollo Phaedra situation or whatever. And she was just like, I want to talk to Apollo one-on-one -on -one so we can move on. At first, I was like, now, that ain't going to go too well for you to be talking about you want to talk to somebody else's husband one-on-one. -on -one. But I'm like, okay, we know camera's going to be around, so it's not going to be too much one-on-one. -on -one. But I get where she's coming from because apparently when it's more than one person, shit don't go the way you want it to go. So I understand where she come from where she says she want a one-on-one, -on -one, but... Boo boo. When you talk about you want to talk to somebody else's husband one on one, that's a little stepping over a little boundaries, cause that wouldn't happen. Just wouldn't happen in my situation. Wouldn't mm -mm. unless I'm over here with it and saying yes, you guys need to talk. Yeah, but you know, face what I don't like you, so that mm -mm, that ain't gonna work. Anyway, the next day or no later on that day, everybody go. Can you have this plan for everybody to go to these caves? Okay. When they go, they drive in like two separate vans or whatever on their way there. One van, um, I don't even remember what that other van was really talking about. I was more into the van where it was Cynthia, Candy, and Todd, and Peter, and, um, Kenya. Or whatever. I think Miss Lawrence was in her van too. But they basically was talking about Mama Joyce and Candy's wedding. When I got off that talk, Candy, come on. Every time somebody talk about Candy's mama. Now, I know you love your mama, but every time somebody, somebody bring up that wedding situation and it's not what you want to hear, you don't want to talk about it. Or you got this little stank face attitude. But I'm like, everything that they were telling you was right. You're going to lose Todd fucking with your mama. Now, I heard she picked a date for, I think, next month or whatever. And Mama Joy's talking about she ain't with it, but she going. And I'm sitting there like, this is why she didn't want family because... If you're not happy, why come? Because to me, that's starting drama right there. Why come? So, yeah. Calm that shit down, Candy. And like people saying, you're going to lose this man. A lot of people were going at Kenya because they felt like she shouldn't have been saying nothing because she's not married. But I'm like, everything that Kenya said was true. Regardless of she... Maybe she not married, but she learned some things along the way in her relationship to know that, but you're going to lose your man. And I don't think you have to be married to know Candy's going to lose Todd fucking with Mama Joyce. Um, what else? Oh, in that other car, it was, they was, Portia and Nene was talking or whatever, and Portia, I'm sorry, but you and Phaedra... People can call y'all what y'all want, but y'all bitches are some straight haters. 
when I say you guys are some haters, it's because every time the camera's on y'all, y'all not talking about shit that's relevant to y'all. Y'all talking about Kenya. Y'all making y'all whole camera time about another motherfucking. To me, that's a hater. So, yeah, she was talking about how, um, because Kenya did a little separate thing or whatever, and that Portia brought that up. Nene was like, at first I was tripping, but after a while I thought that was a cool idea for everybody to get to know each other. Then she was saying how it was supposed to happen along the trip or whatever. So, I thought that was a cool idea. I didn't see nothing wrong with that, especially when all y'all beefing and y'all really want to get to know each other on you knowing a person and not on what you hear about the person. So, I get that. Um, but yeah, Portia, you a hater. You just was just, to me, hating on Kenya in that car. Every chance to me she got, she was hating on Kenya. Um, what else happened on there? Anyway, moving on, whatever. So they get to the cave place, and Nene says she's going to be a team player. And who was that? Phaedra was talking about, oh, I like the wild side. Apparently you do. You like the criminal side too. We Just saying. So they all get to this thing. They walk in, and then this anaconda fucking snake appear. The first person noticed it was bitch-ass Greg. Did y'all see how Greg jumped when he saw that damn snake? No, I ain't mad. I would have jumped too, but Greg seemed like... He was about to leave everybody. So, yeah, he did that. Nene was looking like, bitch, I want to scream, but we got, I know these cameras is on me, so I got to keep this, I'm rich, bitch, Nene pose. Girl, boo, you was scared of shit. Poor show, little kid ass, was crying, freaking out. Girl, you should have brought a man. I'm just saying. Don't, don't run up on Candyman Todd to get you through this shit, because you scary. Even Kenny was like, girl, come on, shit, it was snakes. I seen a lot of snakes in my bedroom. I was laughing. Um, I mean, at times, I was like, girl, shut up, stop lying. And if you see something that big, bitch, your back is broke. I'm just saying. Um, so, yeah, they go little walking these little caves and shit. I'm sorry. Now, y'all know where y'all was going, so, come on now. They was complaining, but I'm like, y'all knew y'all was where y'all was going. Cynthia was pissing me off because she was like, her and these, um... What, what she say, crazy, low, exotic, or whatever she was saying. She was hating on Kenya places to go. And I'm sitting there like, well, why are you there? To me, this was a new learning experience. It was, it was an adventure. Why are you there? She talking about, she just was hating on everything that Kenya set up for them to do. She was hating on that. And that was pissing me off. Um, They walked in one cave and it was like some bats and shit. I would have walked right back out. Hell to not, not wouldn't wouldn't happen. The other cave they went into, it was like a pond, it was like a fountain of you. Nene was throwing shade up in there, talking about Kenya need to be all up in there. And I'm sitting there like, bitch, and so do you. Because you don't look 21 either. So, so do you. So, Kenya was like, who's all getting in the pool? So, every, I mean, you know, everybody was like, no. She was like, I told y'all to wear bathing suits. So, she take hers off. Um, Apollo with it. Her and Apollo the first people to take their damn clothes off. Everybody over there looking and shit. But I'm sitting there like, y'all should have had this talk before y'all start going out on excursions if y'all worried about Kenya and Apollo. Maybe everybody should have sat down or we should have saw y'all at that dinner while they were sitting there. And everybody should have hashed every fucking thing out at the beginning so the rest of the trip can go on smooth. Well, all this, everybody being the fuck quiet, that shit was irritating me. Everybody looking at Kenya like she wrong, but it... Am I the only one looking at Apollo like, bitch, I would hit you in your fucking eyes the way he was staring at Kenya? Every chance that camera came on Apollo, he's staring at her. Um, and, on, and I agree, only reason why Phaedra got in that water is because Apollo wanted to get in the water, and she couldn't let him get in that water with, um, with Kenya. Then here come Candy talking about, if you get in the water, I get in the water. Why? This was, to me, you guys are not giving Kenya a chance at all. Now, I understand she, you know, she had been fucked up. But like I said, these last couple episodes, Kenya have not been fucked up. So, and y'all went. So, why are everybody not participating? Or why y'all all giving her this punk ass side eye? I, I just didn't get it. So, they, she get in, she swimming. Like I said, Phaedra get in. They all get, well, Phaedra, Candy... 
and Portia end up getting in and Apollo end up getting in or whatever. Uh, Nene said she didn't have nothing to wear. Peter just wasn't doing it. Um, Cynthia was trying to talk him into doing it. Whatever. So then after they get out the little water, they taking pictures or whatever. Kenya walking up the stairs to leave and she talking to Apollo like, go take some pictures. He was like, I had enough pictures. They kind of low-key talking to each other or whatever. And he's still staring at her. The whole time she's walking up the stairs, she's staring. I'm like, I don't understand why Kenya the whore. I, I just don't get it. So, anyway, moving on from that. That shit was funny when Ty was like, who the hell idea was this? This was some bullshit to be going in caves with bats. I was with you, Ty. So, anyway, after all of that, they go do all that. Um, then the next day, I think it was, yeah. The next day, Kenya, Portia, no, Kenya, Nene, Cynthia, Candy, and Mr. Lawrence, they go on to look for ten fertility little excursion with her that she wants to do. She feel like these ladies have supported her in trying to have a baby, so she wants them to go. Even though her and Nene had a falling out, she still, Nene still have supported her with her trying to have a baby, so, hey, um whatever so they go to that little thing i thought it was cool for what it was it's not my thing it may not be your thing but if she believed in it or if she was just doing it for tv or whatever it was her that's what she believed in what i didn't like is nene and cynthia nene over there <coughs> they smoke and then i'm just sitting there like why are you here? Why are you participating? Like, come on now. When y'all went to Africa and all that shit was going around, y'all, the people that didn't want to do it, opted out and said, no, I don't want to do it. So, why you just didn't say, no, I'm not with this. But, for you to be doing all that complaining and all that shit was not cool. Then you had your little puppy dog, Cynthia, making her little fucking comments, talking about one another, can you crazy little things. It was for her. It wasn't for you. And I like how Candy, I liked how... I do like how after all of the prayer or whatever, and they were sitting down and they were talking, and Kenya was explaining about her having a child and was trying to have it, the, the, the guy first, but now she just want to have a child and start a family. I thought that was a really nice ladies' conversation among the women. I really thought that was really cool with Nene, Cynthia, and Candy giving her advice, giving them, like, them their experiences on motherhood and all that kind of stuff. I really thought that was a cool talk with them. And that's what I like to see with the women. All that cattiness and all them confessionals with all this bullshit cattiness is stupid. But that was, I thought that was really nice of them being there for, for Kenya. Um, just like Candy was like, this is the Kenya that people would want to see. And I agree. That's the Kenya I would want to see instead of, now I don't mind the, the dramatic Kenya sometimes. It's just all the time I'm not with it. And... Some of the time when she do be dramatic, it be some shit she calling people out on some bullshit that they had started. So, hey, whatever. Um, but a lot of times, the this season, I can say that. Last season, Kenya was over the fucking top and I wasn't giving her no excuse whatsoever. But anyway, after, uh, well, while they there doing a little fertility, little prayer, whatever. I like how she was telling Candy to get the prayer to because her and Todd was trying to have a baby and stuff like that and Candy was with it. Um, then you got the two hating bitches at the hotel in the pool talking about Kenya instead of talking about them. I'm like, bitch, why are y'all not talking about y'all? Why are y'all worried about Kenya and what she got going on at the fertility place? And they were like, I wasn't invited. Bitch, no. Why would, why would you go? You don't even like her. Um... Kenya, Portia was pissing me off. I Like I said, Portia don't have no damn storyline to me. So, what what can they do? Attack Kenya. Because that shit with them in the pool was really, really ridiculous. Of them trying to bash her or whatever. I thought that was childish. On both of their part. Um, they all, now, one thing I can agree with them on is. Why nobody have brought that shit up with Nene. About the shit happened with Marlo. I want somebody to talk about that shit. I don't want that swept under the rug. But maybe we'll wait till the reunion. And Andy messy ass will bring out Marlo. Uh, well, I, and I ain't even mad. Lisa, if you're going to bring 
and bring the drama. At least let everybody be in the room and have their sides. But um, yeah, I, that 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 I did agree with when they were talking about that. But I just still felt like, bitch, talk about something besides somebody else and talk about y'all. Um, I liked through the commercial break when they was on that party bus and they was dancing. And everybody was getting along, twerking, and just just having fun. That's the like I said. That's the Real Housewives I would like to see instead of always the catty bullshit. So then you have Peter Todd and Apollo. Um, yeah, they go to this like cigar bar. And they're basically talking about giving Todd, Todd advice about Candy and Mama Joyce and have you ever reached out? And he was like, yes, I have reached out. I've called her for lunch. She won't call me back. You know, same old typical conversation that we all been hearing about Todd and Mama Joyce. But, like I said, Peter and Apollo was trying to give him advice or whatever and telling him what he might would want to do with that situation and how he needs to step up to Candy, like, look, this is what's going to happen. Hey. Um, then, as they talking, Kenya and Miss Lawrence end up walking in. Now, how did everybody know where they was at? I don't know. Did everybody have a car and say, this is where everybody going to meet at? Or whatever. Because all of a sudden, why would Kenya and Lawrence want to go to the cigar bar? That that looked way out of uh, Miss Lawrence element. And Kenya looked like she go to them kind of places to pick up men. So she knew what to do. So maybe that's why they was there. Maybe they was going to pick up some men and didn't know the other ones was there. I don't know. But as they there, everybody getting along. Um, Kenya buying shots for everybody. Now you can say she was low-key trying to get Apollo in trouble or low-key trying to flirt and all that kind of stuff. I don't know if I saw it that way. But I do felt like she was trying to get a rise out of Apollo to see how he was going to react on camera. I do see that. Um, but yeah, like I said, they were having fun. They were drinking. They were doing a cigar. She just buying rounds after rounds, getting everybody faded. Because remember, Portia said she don't like Apollo drunk, especially around Kenya. So Kenya, they like three or four rounds in a tequila shot. So you know Kenya feeling flourished and all that kind of stuff. So then she tell him to come go to the bar with her to get like the fourth round or something like that. The third or the fourth round. So all the dudes were like, hell no. Hell no, don't you get your ass up. And Apollo can't be a man because he really want to go. And he over there laughing and shit. And they over there like, no. They like, y'all, Kenya over there like, y'all shut up. So Ty say, well, if, you, if you're going to go, I'll go with you so you won't get in trouble. Even Peter like, bullshit, that's a bullshit ass idea. If I was you, I wouldn't do that type of shit. So, like I said, Kenya still trying to get a rise out of Apollo. They get over there to the bar. Kenya wasn't ordering no damn shot. She was just trying to get Apollo alone. So she over there trying to get to the chairs or whatever. Tied over there like, okay, I'm going to walk with you. Until my boy say it's not... It's cool for me to walk away. Then I'm going to be with my boy so he won't get in no trouble. Won't nothing be started. Can't nobody say you did nothing. Whatever. So they get over there and sit down. And as soon as they sit down, Todd excuses. Uh, I mean, Apollo excuses Todd. I'm like, this is where you see that he really wants to fuck Kenya. I'm sorry because if you didn't, you would have had your boy sit right there. So Todd like, hey, y'all, he don't want me over here. I don't let them do what they do. So they over there talking. Basically through that whole conversation because Apollo still was trying to put it out there like if I could if I wanted to fuck, then I could have. She like, no, you couldn't have. And I'm tired of you putting it out there like that could have happened or would have happened or was gonna happen. Cause it never happened. I never tried to get at you. The way she was coming at it, like she ain't never tried to fuck with him. And like he said, both of us do jab at each other, regardless of who Heard who the words, hey, but we both do jabs at each other, which is true. Kenya, you did go at that man at the reunion show. So, yeah, he, and like you said, he had to save face because of, um, Phaedra. But like she said, regardless of what's going on in your relationship, don't bring me in that bullshit. And that's what he doing. He trying to throw so much on Kenya of all the wrong things he doing. And we can tell, like, dude, if you didn't want to fuck this girl, you wouldn't have sat down there by her, yourself with this girl. Come on. Like, that shit was bogus. And then, here you come at the end, like, because after she just put it out there, like, I didn't want to fuck you. So stop it. Stop putting me out there like that. We was cool. Come on now. Just because I got a tour with her girl, then here you come. 
Then okay, I understand you get into it. She got into it with your girl. You take you be on your girl's side, but throwing just unnecessary daggers at a girl trying to ruin her reputation. That's when it's un uncalled for. Cause he knew by him saying that about her, everybody was gonna look at her wrong because of the reputation, the way she acted on the last season. Come on now. Um. So then, as the, the episode is wrapping up or whatever, they're sitting there talking or whatever. The guys go to move from the table to the bar. Then they notice that Candy is walking in. When they notice Candy walking in, they see here comes Phaedra. I'm like, oh shit, it's about to crack. And then I looked at my damn clock. I said, oh hell no, it ain't. We gotta wait again. So, she walks in, you know, Candy over there like, shit, is it about to go down? Like, what, what's, what's about to crack? So, she looking like, what the fuck is he do over there doing with her? So, she walks over there, she like, what's up with this? And it goes off. What's, well, she was like, what's going on? And it goes off. But I'm sitting there like, I'm so tired of y'all trying to make it seem like Kenya's a bad person. I am. Like, Apollo ain't doing no motherfucking wrong, and everybody calling her hoes a woo woo wop. Come on now. He just in the wrong. And like she said, she, to me, Kenya's throwing little daggers at Phaedra and Apollo about him trying to fuck her just to get a rise out of her, to make her feel insecure, and she succeeded. I'm sorry. She got exactly what she wanted out of Phaedra, so... Yeah, tell me what y'all thought about this episode. Like I said, it wasn't no major, major fallout, blowout, whatever. But it is what it is. I'm going to keep on going. I wish just how many damn episodes of it. But anyway, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, Plus, um, Xbox Live. Um, I do everything by the ghetto view, T-H-A, not T-H-E. Um, check out my girl, Ashley Miller, 1987. And also my cousin, might be 801. Tasha C, some more love. Um, yeah, Forest Rocks. I know she do Real Housewives. Um, Candy from Sweet Addictions. So, yeah, check us all out. We'll talk to you. Talk to us back. My, oh, check out my boo, Jamar Washington, too. All right, you guys. Peace.